Welcome to my channel. My name is Autumn. Um, I guess on this channel I do a little bit of everything. Until I figure out my niche, I do a little bit of everything. But happy Valentine's Day. Today I am going to get ready. Um, kind of like a lazy get ready with me because I do not do makeup at all. Um, I already washed my face and used all my SPF and everything to protect my skin um, because Skincare is the best way to go. Skincare is the best. Just take care of your skin before you put this makeup on. Take care of the skin after you take this makeup off. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face. And I got this forever ago, so I don't know if uh, it even still does what it's supposed to do. Because the only time I wear makeup is when I cosplay. And that's not often anymore. Thank you, Miss Rona. I've got my mirror here because I also cannot see. So I'm just going to apply this to my face. And I'm just going to get it in there. So what I wanted to talk about was kind of in the same realm of like self-love. Anyway. The topic that I wanted to stay in was in the realm of self-love and kind of sort of has to do with like like makeup to an extent. So I'm not really good at makeup. I don't do this. This is not my everyday. So yeah, there's kind of like a stipulation behind people when it comes to makeup. It's like I don't blame people for wanting to make makeup is fun sometimes. For me it's frustrating we need to start making it normal for people not to have to wear makeup I only wear makeup on special occasions oh yeah I'm using this the LA girl in pro concealer and it's in toffee but um, I only put makeup on to like make myself look better and it's usually just for cosplays, like I said before. I don't put makeup on every day. Which, I mean, if you do, that's that's you. You do your thing. Um, but yeah, I'm not good at it. And I'm, I'm lazy. I don't, I don't like the idea of, like, I have to put makeup on to make myself feel beautiful. I'm like, I've got, you know, good skin with the exception of, you know, me picking at my pimples. And for the most part, I feel like embrace what God gave you you should only be using makeup to enhance things you know those girls that wear makeup to like I should have let that sit a little longer I should I watch Jackie all the time I should have let that sit we'll be okay um but for like those girls that wear makeup to like change features of themselves to make their noses smaller I don't understand that like I have a really big nose a very big nose and as much as I don't like my nose some days it's what God gave me I'm not gonna take it away so I cannot multitask <laughs> I can't focus makeup is to each its own I think it's a beautiful art form those girls out in the middle of nowhere that be beating their faces yes keep it going but me no I'm not I'm not into that you know you should want to stand out I don't want to look like these Instagram models you know and I think that's why I like like makeup artists like Jackie and like Brie Hall so much because they don't look like these Instagram girls. They look like themselves, just more enhanced. I'll just go in with my 
face and stuff. I don't want to say the wrong thing because, you know, YouTube be getting real sensitive. The whole country is just so PC. It's kind of scary. You see how I just made my face so flat? Do you see that? Oh, God. Autumn, what are you doing, girl? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. This is supposed to be real quick because I'm not about to be in here doing a 20 minute face tutorial because I don't do makeup. My mom, she does sell Mary Kay. So I will say that like I've always been exposed to makeup. But I don't really, I've never been interested in it. In high school and middle school, all I ever did was like the bare minimum an eyeliner and some mascara maybe some lip gloss but I don't like to wear lip gloss because I talk a lot so I get like build up around my lips I don't know how to get rid of it so I just don't like to wear lip gloss I mean I will today but I don't like to wear lip gloss so but yeah I was never really into makeup I've always had these weird looking eyebrows weird ass eyebrows thanks granddad um, that I inherited from my grandfather and so like I've never really been into like making myself look pretty and honestly it's because it just it's too much money it's too much time and it's too much effort and I'd rather just wash my face and go outside so I guess um now I'm doing the dip brow pomade in ebony from Anastasia Beverly Hills because you know she is for the girls well, she's for me I don't know so much changes in the beauty community and I think that's another reason why I don't like to do my makeup because it's it's a new trend every time it's it's never it's never like the same thing I can't just everything changes at first it was do this to your eyebrows now people are laminating their eyebrows and I mean yeah it's a it's cute it's a look but like you have to do that every time you want to restart I just no it's not for me can you guys tell the difference <laughs> I don't know I can't tell I don't have wings to my eyebrow ends remember guys I told you that I shaved my eyebrows off in the fifth grade so <laughs> yeah don't don't do that don't do that I don't know what I was thinking you know what it was people are cruel this kid told me autumn you have a unibrow and I was like oh no I don't know what a unibrow is but let me like fix it so I shaved right through the middle took off a piece on this side so I was like well I gotta make it even so I shaved this side <sighs> And then that didn't work out because then I ended up shaving both of them all off. And I just think that that is a good testament to how like beauty standards just make you do some crazy crap to your face. I don't know why I'm doing this because they don't even do this anymore. Do they even do this anymore? I haven't done my makeup in so long. because I used to do makeup for cosplay and like I do like a basic a basic like face and honestly my best friend is always there with me so I would just have her do whatever I couldn't do because she's amazing at makeup even though she does not like to be called out about it she's really good at makeup but yeah so I don't know beauty standards you know what I'm saying and then there's another thing of not like one not me want me not wanting to fall into the uh, the makeup girl trope that society has made for us. So for example, many guys will say like, "Oh, I like a girl who doesn't do anything to her skin, but then when I come in there with nothing on my skin, and maybe it's just me, maybe it's just an isolated event because that's me." But it seems to me like they do want the girl that does something to her skin, but looks like she didn't do anything to her skin. And I mean, if that's your preference, you go for it. I don't like to do my skin. I mean, my, my face. I don't like to do the makeup. So, but yeah, 
I've always wanted to be that girl that can say like, hey, this is what I look like when I jump into a pool. This is what you're gonna see when you wake up in the morning. I wanted to be able to prove to people that like, I'm beautiful with or without the makeup. And not saying that people that wear makeup are not beautiful, you guys are gorgeous. And I wish I had that type of skill. But I think that there's such a bad stigma behind girls that like to wear makeup, like they're hiding something. And I know some girls, y'all are hiding something. But <laughs> I think that we need to stop shaming people for wanting to wear makeup. Do you? <laughs> I wish. So I am adding the primer or the concealer to my lid so that I can use it as like a base. I don't think I'm going to do anything super crazy because what I'm wearing is like black and gray because I don't really dress up for Valentine's Day. <laughs> but um, like I said, I'm going out with a friend. I really like the transformation aspect of makeup though. Like I love to see girls just turn their faces into like these really cool like they can like make it look like a zipper and like they're bleeding and stuff. That is so cool. Like, but I just don't have the patience to sit there and play with my makeup and honestly the lazy way I do it we in and out the only reason why this is taking so long is because I'm talking to y'all because if I wasn't talking to y'all I'd, I'd be done before I did this it'd be there would be no I wouldn't be doing an eye look at all Honestly, I usually stop before the whole eye thing. I just put on some mascara and some eyeliner and call it a day. I'm gonna go in with uh, Primp. I'm gonna go in with Primp on my outer lid area. I think that girls that do makeup, keep doing it, girls. Y'all are really doing it. Is that dark enough? Is that showing up? I don't think this is really picking up very much. Is it? It's kind of picking up. Can you tell? So that I've got this like base or whatever, I'm going to go in with rose pink off of the soft glam. I'm gonna use this. I don't know what this brush set is actually called. It doesn't have a name. I think I got it like on Amazon or something. But it's got like a a really fine tip. I don't know. Can you see that? Nope. 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 You can't see it because it's focusing on me. So um, yeah, it's got a really fine tip. I'm just gonna blot this somewhere on my face, on my eyes. Ooh, it's so bright and so different and maybe I should like I look crazy I'm just gonna blend it I don't want to go all the way to the top though because I don't want to take away that really pretty purple you probably can't even see it this is how subtle I do my makeup like you got to be right in my face right in my face to see my makeup at all because I just don't do my makeup. I am going to do my eyeliner with this Kat Von D Trooper Trooper Black. But that's as good as that's gonna get. And then before I do anything else, I'm gonna go in with this wet and wild translucent powder under my eyes to like bake or whatever, even though I'm not gonna bake for the full baking period. I just spilled that all on my leg. Anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that because it makes me look like a freaking ghost. And I'm just gonna stamp it right in that area. I'm not gonna go too far. And so I don't contour my nose or anything because I really like the way my nose looks. 
Um, I don't do anything to my nose because I really like my nose when I do makeup because it just pops on my face and I'm too lazy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna let this sit and I'm going to get a new battery and I will see you guys in just a minute and I'll be able to take this off. So, see you in a minute. <laughs> Wipe off this, this is this kabuki brush thing. I don't, is it called a, nope. It's called a sheer powder brush. So I'm just gonna wipe my access off. And I like to get all of it off because I don't like to look like a ghost. Cause pale black people look weird. Stop looking so pale. So yeah, so that's done. Yeah, now at last I'm going to go in with this CoverGirl Flourish by Last Black Lash last um i don't know it's got like vitamin e in it that's the only reason why i picked it up what do you think we're good okay we're good now that i have done my full face you're like autumn you about to go out with the bare lip on a regular day yes i would go out with the bare lip because I like my lips and I don't know if you can tell but they're already starting in a corner so I got this Kylie Jenner's matte liquid lipstick in Rouge nope it's called Vixen I got this in my weaker days when I was like susceptible to buying what everybody else was buying so I have this and I'm not gonna throw it away because it's like 40 bucks like yeah I'm gonna keep it for the rest of my life <laughs> so I I picked this color because it's like a deep purple and maybe it'll let my purple in my eyes pop and I made sure that I get the matte because when I put my mask on I don't want this to like transfer onto my mask because that's gross I know that the rest of this is going to transfer but that's fine because you can wash makeup out of a mask and I'm not gonna wear one of my work masks anyway. I'm gonna wear one of those paper ones that I can just throw out, so. I don't know. Are y'all feeling it? I'm not really feeling it. Maybe if I add, I have a few of these. So maybe if I added this uh, Mary, Mary to it. Maybe that'll give me a little something. Eh. Now that that's all done, I'm putting my hair down. I'm probably just gonna wet this, let it curl, do its thing. But yeah. Mm. Okay, I look my age, cause I usually look 12. So yeah, this is my little like mini get ready with me glow up. Um, I feel and look like an adult. But yeah, I will not be doing one of these again this was just for me to try it out and see how it felt to be a beauty girl for just like 30 minutes so if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up um, thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah if you're lazy get ready with me girl too if you're a lazy makeup girl please put put a makeup brush in the in the comments cuz I am not here for this not every day no ma'am and this ain't even like this ain't even nothing I can't even really see 
anything that I've done. I mean, which is probably the point, right? Yeah, it's probably the point. But yeah, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, stay tuned because I do have another video coming out very soon. And 